Hello everyone and welcome to a new reading. Today we are doing an individual reading for another entity member and in this case we are going for win-win and in this reading we are checking his current energy, his career, his love life, and any healing messages that come through. And with all of that said, let's just jump into his current energy to figure out how is he doing right now. Okay, so the first card that came out was the world, and then we have the three, we have the world reverse, and then the three of pentacles up, right? And then we have death reverse. Yoki. So to start off his reading with the world reverse, I was kind of laughing a little bit because it's, it's a good card to have, but reversed, eh, not so much. So in his case, it feels like he has two mirror arcanas right here with a world and death card so it definitely feels that he's going through a very big transformation with the world we have saturn energy and with a death card we have scorpio energy so it definitely feels that he's going through this very big transformation um and there might be some sort of delays or some sort of resistance from his part i'm not too sure what this transformation is just yet and i don't necessarily know what could be I guess getting in the way of this transformation to happen for him. However, let's go one at a time. So with the world reverse, it kind of feels like there, things are not necessarily going according to his own plan, or he may feel like destiny and fate are not in his favor. So the timing of everything seems to be a bit off. Everything seems to be stagnant or delayed somehow. There is something that just isn't working out for him. With the world reverse, there is the imagery, at least on this card, looks kind of like a uh, a couple is about to have a baby or something along those lines and here we have an eye so it makes me think of looking into the future and also makes me think of having a balance of feminine and masculine energy so accepting how to be receptive but also accepting how to take action something along those lines there's a duality that is trying to come into harmony and creating something new basically and with it in reverse i do feel that there might be some limitations for win-win at the moment and it could be because there's something out of balance within him uh he could be concentrating too much on one type of energy that is getting in the way of balancing the other side that he needs to work on and because of that he's not necessarily ready to bring in abundance into his life or take on to the next step that he needs in his life also with the world we have like the end of a cycle because it's the last card from the mirror arcana so i do feel that maybe he is reaching the end of a project or he's and he's about to end some chapter in his life some checkpoint he's about to reach it and it's been delayed for him or it's been put on pause or there's some sort of stagnation because there's something that is that he still needs to work through or maybe it's just not time for him to receive the rewards or to start on the actual ending of something now, the next card that we have right here is the Three of Pentacles. So with that card, we're talking about working with other people. We're talking about collaborations, projects. Now, with Pentacles, it could be health, money, career, or work. Anything along those lines that is material. And with Three, I always think of teamwork and I always think of group work. So I do feel that he could be focusing on his present moment a lot on his career. He could be really focusing on the projects that are coming up. Well, I... I think Wavy's gonna take something out, and yeah, it was delayed, but that could be one of the things he's focusing on, but if there's any other projects behind the scenes of, or something, I may not know about them, those could also be present in the reading right now. So it definitely feels like something will be offered to him, as we see like this person right here that's receiving a sword of sorts. Right now that I'm looking at the imagery, I actually kind of got it. A message of potentially he will receive news of something that happened that could get in the way of his career I do not know is it good news bad news I am NOT a hundred percent sure like it could be potentially losing someone important and then it's like the news of uh, we honor you for the work that this person did or it could also be like um maybe someone needs his help so they bring this news of like we need you in this project we need you to do this thing or that thing i'm not too sure but it definitely feels like some people or some project uh, maybe a company could come over and ask him for help on something like 
we like there might be a project that someone is exclusively or specially looking for him to work with him so that could be something important i do not know and if it is the news of like someone passing away or something then that could be more de delays in his career or it could also be that that adds more work onto him somehow i do not know anyway the last card that we have right here for his current energy is the death card now i am not taking this literally i never really do but in this case i do feel that with it being reversed it does talk about some transformation so to me the death card symbolizes a phoenix moment you know a death or rebirth the end of something the beginning of something new that transition period so with him i do feel that there is this thing that is being delayed and it could be because he's putting resistance in it um either he, he's finding it very difficult to make time for healing or he just hasn't even realized that there's something that he has to put into balance within himself so he's finding it very difficult to go through that process of ending something and starting something new in his life. Also with this death card, we see like someone walking towards the light. And in this case, I think of it as enlightenment. So I do feel that maybe he's reaching a point in his life where he is slowly learning something new or getting new knowledge about something that could be very beneficial for him in the future. Because that will be a tool that will help him on his journey of starting something new, whatever that could be. He may have a companion with him. In all of these cards, there's always someone there. So I do feel that he's going to have someone that will guide him towards the right path. Or guide him towards the path that he is more... Not necessarily comfortable with, but it's the one where he will learn what he has to learn. So it could be a bit uncomfortable. And by uncomfortable, I mean that he may have to look at some wounds that he had in the past or look at some challenges and difficulties and like face them head on to move forward so that seems like that's what's going on right right here i don't really know what is delaying this but maybe we'll get more answers on the other sections so let's jump on to his career so what's going on with win win's career we have north node with step out of your comfort zone and Let's see. We have the Angel of Divination and the Angel of Sky. Hmm. Seeing those two angels makes me think that maybe he has unrealistic expectations about something or his head is up in the clouds. So he's not grounded somehow. That could, at least in his career, he's, I'm not saying he's like delusional or anything. I'm saying that he's daydreaming a lot. And maybe he's a little bit unrealistic about his goals in his career right now. Is it necessarily bad? I don't think so. But anyway, so with the Angel of Divination and the Angel of Sky, I have a feeling that he's destined to go through something or experience something in his career. Um, something that is a lot bigger than himself. And what I mean by that is that there's other people that he will work with or events that have to happen timing that is out of his control so something along the lines of destiny and fate and what i mean by bigger than himself i mean that he can't really force this actions this chain of events to happen they kind of would just like a domino effect it would just happen naturally so that's why it's a lot bigger than himself because it's out of his power but i do feel that something within his career is going to be or it's been i guess taken care of or influenced by uh, the universe, life, or his higher self, his spiritual team, however you want to see it. Um, I'm saying that because we have clouds here and with the angel of divination, we have a figure that is like outside of earth. I guess we could put it that way. And that's why it made me think that it's something out there. <laughs> now with a north node up here, we have step out of your comfort zone. So with him, it definitely feels that he's reaching a point where if he is from 1997, his south node will be in Pisces and his north node will be in Virgo. It definitely feels like he has to have a bit more realistic goals about his career. Think of the practical things in life. Try to see things on 
how to organize his thoughts and work towards it. I'm not necessarily saying he's lazy as much as in he's not this is he's not as disciplined as he could be. Um he kind of just goes with the flow of things and he doesn't put much of his own drive, his own goals, his own mind. Like he kind of just he's very good at doing what he's been told what to do, but he's finding kind of difficult to do what he wants to do. Um, I don't, we'll see with the tarot in a little bit, but with step out of his comfort zone, there's definitely something that he wants to do and he's not comfortable getting out of that zone. And that could be explain why he's having delays in his current energy there. So I guess this card kind of just confirms that the reason why there's delays in these transformations and these changes of chapters and everything is because he's, he's the one that's not taking the initiative to create that change. Um, the change within himself is something that he, um, needs a little bit of work because he needs to put something in it as well. And then everything just kind of comes tumbling down. I don't know why tumbling down was the phrase that came out, but yeah. Also, I'm seeing crystals in, in the head of the Angel of Divination and within the Angel of Sky, if you look at the face. It definitely feels like with this crystal that he's finding it it kind of difficult to have the divine information to understand what he's going through or he's not seeing things as clearly as he possibly could and i think that's because he's not necessarily meant to know about them i think he just kind of has to experience it i do feel that the reward or the lesson here is to go out of his comfort zone and just experience life without nothing being for certain but I also feel that the goal here is for him to finally do something that he wants to do and not because he was told to do it. So finally following his heart instead of just going with the flow. So yeah, let's see. So what information can we get from Winwin's career? We have the Eight of Wands. Sure. I am curious what's going on with this career. We have strength reverse, the princess of pentacles upright, temperance upright, and the three of swords reverse. So one of right away when I saw the three of swords, one of the reasons why Win Win hasn't really gone out of his comfort zone is because he's still healing a part of himself within his career. Something maybe didn't work out before and he is finding it kind of difficult, but he's still going through a process of healing. Now, he is more in a, in a, currently, he's in a state where he doesn't feel as much baggage about the heartache or those mistakes that happened in the past or whatever burden he felt in his career, he doesn't f feel it as much as before. And that's why this three of swords is reversed. But the fact that this card is still present in the reading kind of shows that there's still some healing that he has to go through. It's just not enough baggage to hold him back, but it is enough to make him hesitant. Um, we do have the temperance card on top of it, so there is some harmony. He knows that he's taken care of, he's protected, and that he has like a safety net of sorts. So if something doesn't work out, he knows that he will not fall down to... A difficult place he knows that there will be someone to like catch him and take care of him and kind of put him back on, on the right path that he was on or that he wants to continue on so with that temperance there is a lot of patience he is very patient with himself and that has definitely allowed for healing to go through so i don't think he's necessarily doing too bad he just feels like his advice is just to go out of his comfort zone i don't think there's necessarily anything bad going on in his career though now we have the eight of wands so with that one it kind of shows that he um the reason why things are not working out in his career is simply because he is under the illusion that wait give me a second i was thinking of the eight of swords so maybe there's a little bit of that like there's just a mental blockage but but physically like action wise there's no blockage at all so with the eight of wands it will actually be fast moving energy all he has to do is concentrate that energy in one target or one goal and just like has as i mentioned earlier he just has to organize himself to finally be able to be more practical about his energy organize how he's spending his ideas his energy and being able to just 
work upon that. But yeah, I think I thought of the Eight of Swords because that card is to, supposed to talk about someone that is under the illusion that they can't do something, right? But their mind and their thoughts is the thing holding them back. It's not anything else. So I do feel like even though it's not here, it could be something that is happening to him. That he's overthinking something or he's under the impression that in his career things are not moving along because he's just mentally blocking himself. But I don't think it's that bad or else the card will have appeared. He could just be under the impression that he is though. He's overthinking something but not in a way that will actually be an obstacle in his career. Let me just put it that way. I guess it's just normal doubt and fear that comes in. Now, the card that we have right here is Strength Reverse. So that card being under the Eight of Wands, that is a very fast-moving energy, kind of tells me that one of the things that kind of stops its energy or makes his career be a little bit more stagnant is the fact that he doesn't have confidence within himself maybe within his skills the strength card talks about having inner strength not necessarily physical strength uh it's also having mental um strength as well so being able to mm, have a clear judgment being able to just enjoy life because strength is a leo card so in this case i do feel that he needs to work a lot on his solar plexus in the sense of being able to stay optimistic, being able to be confident, and also being able to just enjoy life for what it is in order to get a lot more vitality. So I don't necessarily think that Win Win has lost his vitality, but I do feel that he may not feel as energized as before. He may be a little bit self-conscious somehow because of all the um, stagnation he has felt, but I don't think it's anything too bad. Like, it's still... It feels like mild inconveniences. It doesn't feel like a big wall that he can't get over. It's just small obstacles. The other card that we have right here is the Princess of Pentacles or the equivalent to the Knight of Pentacles, which kind of talks here that it is Virgo energy. So I do feel like he's trying to get a little bit more into that energy where he's able to see the details about everything. He's able to analyze situations better analyze the situation better as well being able to see the skills that he has and the situation that he's in and being able to come up with a practical plan on how to go about it and make sure that it all aligns with whatever goals he has in mind virgo energy is one that is very hardworking and it's not afraid of doing tedious tasks and doing things over and over and over again um it's a sign that aims for perfection so that's why it doesn't really mind with repetition or tasks that can seem a bit mundane and tedious to others so in this case i do feel that in his career win-win is not bothered by doing those things that many other people will think it's boring um, again he kind of just goes with the flow so now all he has to do is instead of just doing what he's being told is how can he transform that and change that in a way where it starts aligning more with what he desires and what his goals are instead of just doing as others say now the other energy that we have here um i guess sign wise is sagittarius energy which also talks about being optimistic being open-minded to change and transformation and experience experiences and also being open to new adventures so i do feel that Life may be pushing win-win, at least in his career, to start branching out. Again, it doesn't feel bad at all though, I was just curious. <laughs> so that's why I took all those cards. So let's jump into his love life. What's going on with win-win's love life? Those are a lot of cards. So we have new moon in Taurus with prosperity lies ahead. We have full moon in Taurus with your dreams need a practical plan. That seems to be his everyday life right now. And we have Disseminating Moon with Take Time to Breathe Out. And then we have the Angel of Night. So with the Angel of Night, I do feel that there's a lot of intuition going on here. So in Win Win's Love Life, I'm also getting a lot of feminine energy. Because we have Taurus energy and the Angel of Night. Well, it looks like a woman to me. So... Oh, and then we have uh, Angel of New Life on the bottom of the deck. I'll bring it out. It definitely, it feels like Win-Win just has to ground himself somehow. 
all the um earth energy that he has right here with taurus kind of tells me that he needs to ground himself taurus energy is as you know taurus is a sign is one that is very good at manifesting or at least the taurus is that i know in my life they're very good at manifesting they're very good at accepting gifts from life they're very good at just making things happen they're very good with the law of manifestation the law of attraction stuff stuff like that right um they're very open to the idea of receiving and giving and also taurus is a sign that is very understanding of the i guess the benefits of material things and physical things so i do feel that in his case in his love life he may he hmm, i don't necessarily feel a person here as much as i feel just an energy of something that he has to work in um i guess one of the it's weird like with him it feels like he needs to work on his feminine energy and by that i mean his energy of just receiving accepting and being very receptive so just kind of gathering information and energy instead of seeking things out is just accepting the energy that comes in learning from that energy something along those lines right it definitely feels like that's the new chapter he's going in being able to accept the duality within him being able to be grounded and practical about his dreams being able to stay laser focused on his goals and kind of not and not necessarily and also not budging with what other people with other people's influences so what i mean is that if he has a goal in mind tara's energy is very good at just slow and steady staying focused on whatever their goal is and Taurus energy can be very stubborn so if other people kind of come in and try to dissuade them from whatever goal they have in mind it's very hard because Taurus not only is it an earth sign it is also a fixed sign so whatever ideas or values they have it's very hard to shake, shake them off those um those things so I do feel that in his case that's one of the things that Winwin kind of has to slowly nourish and put love into which is the idea of sticking to his roots sticking to his opinions and to his goals putting importance to those goals and also in a way it feels like i'm telling you with his love life this is the first time i've gotten something like this from all my individual readings um i got in love stuff stuff and relationships in terms of um platonic friendship family type of relationships and i've also gotten self-love and self-care from other people but with win win this is the first time that in someone's love life i'm getting more along the lines of energy like falling in love with the idea of something or i guess in his case it could go a little bit along the lines of self-love and it with him is just loving this side of himself that gives importance to who he is if that makes sense so yeah take time to breathe out in the angel of night kind of tell me that there's this duality not only with his feminine and masculine energy again taking action and being receptive but also the energy between his practical side and his i guess spiritual side with the disseminating moon and the angel of night i do feel that he's very intuitive i feel that he follows his gut instinct very well and he's very aware of his subconscious um he trusts his dreams in in the sense of like the dreams that we have when we sleep not the goals that we have he's very good at being connected to his moon sign potentially i don't know what his moon sign is but um he could be very like a big dreamer right he could be someone that likes to daydream a lot he likes to just uh think of how beautiful things could be but not necessarily take action towards making those uh dreams a reality so i do feel that in his love section it's more leaning towards self-love or falling in love with this new side of himself or this idea of being able to balance out practicality and his dreamy side so it's having a balance between earth and water energy and i do feel that, that could be the new beginning in the transformation that his current energy was talking about let's see yeah, yeah it's a possibility One thing that I got as I was shuffling is that potentially a romantic partner or someone that will give him unconditional love could teach him how to balance this energy. 
Um, that doesn't have to be the case, but it's a possibility. Okay, so we have that two of swords reverse. So I do feel that he doesn't even know what his options are. Like, he's he knows that there's a new beginning that he's going through. He knows that something's not really working out for him. But he doesn't even realize what the options he's juggling with are. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So in this case, we have Capricorn Energy, which kind of shows that he is working on becoming more stable, becoming a reliable person, a reliable source was the words that came to my mind at first for some reason. He wants to be like a tree that people can rely on. He wants to be able to rely on himself as well. So I guess he's finding some sort of grounding. And also, I do feel that he wants to be in a place where he feels comfortable with his career or he feels like it's stable enough for him for him to be able to do whatever he wants in his life so he just doesn't want to worry about his money or his career or his reputation or stuff along those lines the other card we have right here is a ten of wands reverse so he's in his love life his love section i guess we can call it that he's put in self-love and he's trying to take care of himself and try to be more aware of what he wants in his life and this ten of wands reverse is kind of showing that he's letting go of any responsibilities or burdens that are unnecessary for him so he's letting go of baggage that's basically it and that's allowing him to have more balance within his life his life and the last card that we have right here is the prince of pentacles so a lot of pentacle energy a lot of earth energy um but it's reverse i do feel that he's not taking on new projects or he's not even thinking of new projects because he still is very busy bringing harmony within himself there's nothing wrong with putting new projects in like on hold because i don't think he's putting them on hold out of fear or doubt as much as is just for his inner peace because he doesn't want to enter a new project without feeling secure and safe within himself and what i mean by self by safe within himself i mean that he trusts that his mind his body and his heart are all aligned with one goal or with one whatever side he wants to kind of move forward with his life in other words he wants to go through the transformation successfully before he wants to clear his mind and he wants to be connected in such a way aligned and grounded that he kind of is aware of what he wants he doesn't want to enter a new project confused or anything but to end out his reading let's go on to his healing messages i do feel that his reading has been very very consistent like from beginning to end we're talking about the same thing we just got different sides revealed to us So we have the parrot spirit reverse with watcher words. Yeah, okay, so the first thing that I got with watcher words, with a parrot spirit reverse, it kind of feels that with him, they're not, you know, I don't think the universe is afraid that Win Win is going to get in trouble for what he says or anything. I do feel that like here, life just wants to make sure that he's very clear with how he speaks to himself so he understands himself better. And also being able to. Uh, clearly articulate to other people what he desires and where he's at in his life right now so like that um he doesn't close unintentionally close doors with other people so the last thing that we talked about in his love life was that he's putting projects on hold because he wants to make sure that he's in a good state of mind in a good place in his life to not bring unnecessary burdens or baggage to these new projects right he wants to start fresh in a way not from zero just fresh and with the parrot spirit, I do feel that it's kind of, there's just this warning for him where he has to be careful with the words that he uses. So like that people know that he's not straight up like rejecting these options. <laughs> That's the main thing I'm getting here. So yeah, life really wants him to keep his options open. And the last card that we have for him is the Stag Spirit with Take the Lead. And I'm not too sure if it's upright or reverse. So I do feel that 
that is just a sign that that's where he's at right now. The stack spirit is kind of saying that he definitely needs to um, start putting himself first and think to himself what is it that he wants out of life, how does he want to go about it, and kind of take the, the reins of his own life, right? Finally take the driver's seat and take action in his life the way that he wants it. Finally focus his energy in whatever direction or goal that he wants in life instead of allowing other people to tell him what to do or make decisions for him. Like life really wants him to start taking a little bit more of the initiative about things. And life will definitely go through and help him out by finding the right people for him, the right opportunities and the right options and stuff along those lines. But with this card being kind of like a mystery, is it upright or is it reverse? I do feel that that kind of just shows that it's a dynamic energy that is constantly changing and shifting because that's what he's, that's a transformation that he's going through right now. So yeah, Whew. I'll leave that there. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really felt like I had, like I was like holding my breath the whole time for some reason. I don't know if that's good or bad. It could just be that he's, I don't know, I don't Ner no, I don't think it's nervous because I wasn't nervous while reading this, but it definitely feels that it puts like a bit of pressure on his on his chest. So maybe he's not. He may be aware that something's not working out in his life, but he's not really sure where on his life or how he can go about solving this or figuring it out. But I also feel like he hasn't really had the time to even look too deep into it. But yeah. I'll leave that there. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one whenever that is, however that is. Love and healing from my part to you. And bye.